Okay, um, so back to where we left off. So right now I'm going to try to record our very first script. Okay, so in this um, I'm going to take out the script I don't need and I'm going to double click on the recording one. Okay, so right now I'm ready to record my script. But before I do that, I have to select um, my application that I would like to record. And I told you guys in class that for this exercise, we are going to be recording a desktop application, meaning I'm going to try to record something that actually lives on my computer. So it's not a mobile application, and it's not a web application, but it's rather something that exists on my laptop. So for this exercise, we're going to use the key pass generator. So I'll go into my RunnerX folder. Um, for some of you, to open that up, you have to go into your computer. So once you've installed RunnerX, you should have this folder. Go into your program files, select RunnerX 5.1, and you can select samples, select keypass sample, C sharp, keypass test suite, and this is the guy we're looking for. So I'm going to copy um, this folder, copy, and I'm going to drop this folder into my week 9 folder. So I have it in my RunnerX. Okay, so now I'm ready to record. So I'll push the record button, and RunnerX is going to give me three options. It's going to tell me, okay, so you're doing a global recording. I say, wow, not really. I want to run an application. And it tells me, okay, um, can you tell me where the file is? And I go, sure. So I'll browse to the file, and I, I have it open in my document, I believe is week 9, key pass, and this is the application I'm trying to run. So I'll select the application, and I'll press start. And right away, once you start running the application, you can see a little screen on the bottom that is showing you recording is taking place. Okay, So we're going to record something very, very simple. I'm just going to log in to the application. To do that, I'm going to check the box, and I'm going to put in the password. And the password is Rx. Then I'm going to press the OK button, and the application opens up. Once it opens up, I will move it to the center so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And I will add entry. I'll give it a title. So I'll say title. I'll call it Lesson 9 Video. Okay. The username, I'm going to call it Ty. Um, there's a default password in there. So I'm going to take out the default password, take everything out, and I'm going to type in A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. For the repeat password, I'll do the same thing as well. I'll click on here and take everything out in there and put in A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. For my URL, I'm going to type in www.bzqa.com. In my notes, I'm going to say, hello, class. OK? And I'm going to press the OK button to make my entry. So right there, you see, I have an entry. And before I close it, I'm going to delete my entry by right-clicking on the entry and pressing the delete entry key. And that's it. So I'll close the window, or the application rather, and I will say discard changes. So I don't want to save anything. Discard all my changes. And once it closes, I'm going to go back into RunnerX to stop the recording. I'll stop the recording. So as you can see, once we finish recording, my script now has 
something inside of it. So I've got 39 steps that I performed. And each of them, I mean, right now, you guys should be very familiar with um, the language of automation tools. So you know what this means. It's an action. It means go open up this application. This is the mouse click where I selected the password. Now, sometimes you will see things like this. Where RunRx, because it's not smart, RunRx actually separated your input. So when you see something like this, you have to basically make it one. So rather than having two different fields with R and X, just make it R, X in one field. And you can delete the, the one you don't need. And there's a lot of advantages in doing that, which I'll explain a lot later to you. Now, what I'm doing is I'm grooming my script. So after you're recording, it's always a good idea to go through yourself and take out the garbage. Things you don't need, just take it out. But obviously, do this only when you're very, very familiar with the tool. Okay. So let's play back the script to see what would happen. So to do that, move your cursor back to number one and press play. So as you can see, the window got opened, the password got entered, the window got moved up, which is exactly what I did. We're going to add a new entry. Uh, the title has been entered. Uh, the username is going to be entered. The password and the remainder of the um, window is going to get filled up. Okay, so that was successful, and now it's going to close the application, and it's going to ask me, do you want to save, or do you want to discard your changes, and um, they run successfully. Beautiful. So now, once you finish running a script, there's several things to look out for. The first one is the, the results. Was it a pass, or was it a fail? So in this case, you saw it was a success. So when is a fail, it's red. When is a success, it's green. And you can see the time it ran, on what machine it ran on, and any warnings or any errors. And these were all the steps that happened, and they all passed. Now, for example, if something failed, right, and you want to investigate what happened, all you have to do is go to the step that failed and move your mouse over that step and click on Jump to Item. And that will take you directly to RunRx to the script that has or the line that has a problem. So when I click on this jump to item, it takes me right to number two. So I can see that number two was the line that had a problem and I can fix it right away. Okay? So this is how you do a recording in RunRx. And you guys agree, I agree, RunRx is the simplest, easiest automation tool to use. And I know all of you, after using RunRx, will never go back to Selenium. So that's the end of our first lesson, just showing you how to do a simple recording.